Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to define what is macroeconomics, the three central questions of macroeconomics, objectives and instruments of macroeconomics, and lastly, the aggregate supply and demand. So let's start by defining what is macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is the study of the behavior of the economy as a whole. It examines the forces that affect firms, consumers, and workers in the aggregate. Macroeconomics tells you how to control inflation, how to reduce unemployment, and how to increase economic growth. There are some central themes of the macroeconomics. Especially, there are two central themes of macroeconomics. The first one is the short-term fluctuations in output, employment, financial conditions, and prices that we call the business cycle. Number second is the longer term trends in the output and living standards known as economic growth. So macroeconomics solely focus on these two central themes. And after this, the three central questions of macroeconomics. Number first is why do output and employment sometimes fall and how can unemployment be reduced? Number second central question is what are the sources of price inflation and how can it be kept under control? Number third central question is how can a nation increase its rate of economic growth? So these are three central questions. After this, the goals of macroeconomic policy. There are three central goals of macroeconomic policy. Number first is achieving a high and growing level of national output. Number second is increasing employment. Number third is a stable or gently rising price levels. It means it is the responsibility of government to control the inflation rate. So these are three goals of macroeconomic policy. And now the tools of macroeconomic policy. Governments have certain instruments that they can use to affect macroeconomic activity. A policy instrument is an economic variable under the control of government that can affect one or more of the macroeconomic goals. What are the major instruments of macroeconomic policy? First one is the fiscal policy. Number second is the monetary policy. Let's define what fiscal policy is. So fiscal policy denotes the use of taxes and government expenditures. Government expenditures come in two distinct forms. First, there are government purchases. As you know that it is the responsibility of government to provide infrastructure, to provide defense to the public, such as purchasing tanks. And number second is the government transfer payments, such as pensions for elderly. The other part of fiscal policy is taxation. Taxation affects the overall economy in two ways. Taxes affect people's incomes. In addition, taxes affect the prices of goods and factors of production and thereby affect incentives and behavior. As you know that taxes are the major source of revenue for government. The second major instrument of macroeconomic policy is monetary policy, which the government conducts through managing the nation's money, credit and banking system. The central bank is a key macroeconomic institution for every country which manages the monetary policy. As you know that the demand and supply are two important variables that affect the whole economy. Economists have developed aggregate supply and demand analysis to help explain the major trends in the output and prices. How these two different forces interact to determine overall economic activity? I can show you the interaction of demand and supply with the help of this chart. Aggregate supply and demand is starting from the forces that affect aggregate demand. These are monetary policy, fiscal policy and other factors. These affect the aggregate demand. And these factors such as price levels and cost, potential output, capital, labor and technology affect the aggregate supply. Now the aggregate demand and aggregate supply interact to affect these variables such as output, employment and unemployment, prices and inflation and lastly the international trade. So the situation of these variables depend upon the interaction of demand and supply, especially the aggregate demand and supply. So that's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.